Today we'll be making this top. The materials are comfy fingering weight knit picks yarn and a 3.5 millimeter hook. You're gonna need to make two full square motifs and three triangle motifs from our last couple videos. Make sure your motif covers, it should meet here in the middle and then come around to about halfway around your side. If you feel like the motif isn't big enough, you can go ahead and add as many rows as you need to around the perimeter. So first we're gonna connect one square motif with this triangle motif. Make sure both right sides are facing in. Lay them over each other. Coming into this chain space in the corner of each motif. And I'm just gonna do a single crochet stitch here. Now we're going to begin attaching by slipping across and we're only going to go through this outside V on each stitch. So we'll pick up that outside loop and then this outside loop over here and slip through. Again, the outside loop only, outside. I've gone all the way across with my slips. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do a single crochet into the final chain space. Now we can open it up and you can see it's a nice clean line. Our next step is we're going to be attaching another motif in this area. So you can lay it down and then flip it up. Make sure the insides are facing inward. Slip through this chain space here to get those attached. And now I'm going to go ahead, line them up, and do the same thing, just slipping through those outside V stitches. Again, I've gone all the way across. I'm going to single crochet in that chain space of these two motifs, connecting them together at the final corner. And we can open up and see we're forming one big triangle. So now we're gonna add the full square again. We're gonna take another square motif, lay it face down, right sides facing in, like that. And same thing. First, we'll slip into the chain space of that. And then we're just gonna go ahead and slip all the way across. So I've completed my slip stitch and added the single crochet in this corner. We can open it up and see the shape we're beginning to get. And now we'll go ahead and add our final triangle It'll be like this, so flip it, right sides facing in. Go ahead and single crochet in and slip all the way up to this corner, single crochet, just as before. You can open it up and see we have three triangles with two square motifs here. Make sure this bottom edge fits all the way around your rib area. Fold it like this and make sure that it can reach around you. If it does not reach, you can add some width by crocheting along this edge, the outer edge. You can go back and forth as many times as you need. And you can also go on this outer edge. So you'll only add rows on each of these two outer edges to add some width if you need it. Otherwise, fold it back. Mine fits as is, so I'm gonna overlap it here in these chain spaces and I'm gonna go ahead and cast on with my yarn single crochet all the way around if this is too big and you actually need it smaller what you can do is overlap it and start with your single crochet wherever the overlap is gonna be what you're gonna have to do is when you get to this part you'll have to work the border over both of these motifs here all right, so I've got my chain space here. I'm gonna go ahead and get a single crochet stitch going to attach these in the round. 
and now we're just going to work all the way around the base. The stitch count here really doesn't matter at all. Here you can see I'm just working my way around. I just want to make sure I point out that you're working on the right side of the work as you make this border. So here you can see I'm getting to where the motifs are joined. I'm just going to skip right over to here. I've gone all the way around and I just finished the round with a slip into the first single crochet stitch. Now's a good time to try on your work. If you feel like it's just really tight around here, it's not working and you don't want it done in the round, you can just stitch across the border, not attaching them together, and you can just add a tie in the back later. That'll make it a little more adjustable. I'm going to keep mine going in the round. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to add a round of double crochet stitches. I'll chain two to bring up the yarn and I'm just going to work into each stitch all the way around. And when I get to the beginning of the round, I'll skip over that chain two at the start and I'll just slip into this first stitch. So I went ahead and fastened off down here my row of round of double crochet stitches. Now what I'm going to do is start adding a border up to a strap here at each of these corners. So I'm going to start in this, you can see we had three double crochet stitches in this chain space. I'm going to start with that middle one there and I'm going to just add a single crochet stitch. I'll just stitch into each stitch making sure you're working on the right side of the work and you're going to go all the way up to where the strap will begin in this corner. So I've single crocheted all the way up to this corner. Just chain to make the strap until you think it can reach across or it could reach straight back and over to here in a bow. Otherwise if you just want it to go around the neck you'll need a lot fewer um, chains. And I ended up with 133 chains that I think is gonna do it for me. So now I'm gonna double crochet in each chain all the way back towards the top of this triangle, working into the third chain from the hook, double crochet, and just keep going into each chain. Now that I'm back at the corner, I'm gonna just skip this chain space and I'm going to continue single crocheting down the front. Just one single crochet per stitch until I get to this last double crochet stitch right here. I've gotten down to the last single crochet stitch at the center of the front. Now I'm going to just chain two one, two, and I'm going to start working back into the single, the double crochet stitches. So I'll skip these two chain spaces and just single crochet into that next double crochet stitch. And we'll keep going all the way up to this chain space up at the top. Once we get here, we'll do the same thing. We'll single crochet into the chain space, chain however many you want. I ended up with 133 and then double crochet all the way back. Now, just as before, I'm going to skip that chain space and start single crocheting in the remaining stitches. So I've gotten all the way back around finishing this round. I'm going to just go to this middle crochet stitch the same way I started over here. You don't have to do it this way, but I'm just going to close up this gap and I'm going to skip the chain space in these outer double crochet stitches and finish up with a slip and then I'll go ahead and fasten off. So now you can see I've brought the straps up, woven them through these chain spaces at the tops of the triangle, and brought them back to create a bow. Now I've gone ahead and added a chain through the front. You can also use a slip stitch to attach it there if you like, or leave it more open. Thanks so much for making with me today. If you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe as it genuinely helps support me. Remember to share your work and tag me at Mermaid Cat Designs.